MH uh, 120. Uh, they call it the 120 because the hole size on the um, forming die is 120 millimeters, which is about 4.76 inches. Um, this is completely disassembled. You can take this down a little bit further, but there's no, really no need to unless you're replacing any kind of parts. This is your base. It's all anodized aluminum. This is your mold assembly. Of course, when it's new, you know you may have to kind of kind of wiggle it around a little bit. One thing you always want to check when you're putting this machine together is make sure that these little tracks down here line up with this, this track. That's what allows the, the pistons to move up and down. And if they're not lined up, it'll kind of it'll kind of wedge itself and it won't really want to turn. There's also on the back side right here, there's a roller that this whole assembly rolls on. That's what keeps everything nice and level. Next thing we're going to put on is the plunger assembly. And that just drops straight over the top. There are two bolts on the back side and one bolt on the front. And if it's not lined up, it will not go all the way down. You want to check and make sure that it's flush. You're going to see a little bit of a gap right across through here, but it will be flush here and here. Once that's in place, you just take your two handles. These do not have to be tight. Just finger tight. Just snug it up just a little bit. This is your paper uh, holder, I guess for lack of a better word. Just drop that on here on the top and then spin this down. And again, you don't have to put it tight. Just finger tight is fine. You can adjust that to whatever you're most comfortable with. We drop our paper right in here. We move the plunger assembly back out of the way. Move the video camera over here real quick. This is actually in forming mode position. And the reason I'm stopping it here is with this handle and this piece right here, that's how you can adjust the thickness of your patties. So you can go from really, really thin all the way up to 1.6 inches at max. To adjust this, all you do is drop this on the top. If you turn it clockwise, that raises your, your level up, which makes a smaller patty. If you turn it counterclockwise, that gives you the thicker patty. And as you can see down inside here, you'll see it moving up and down. I found so far that uh, on me, about the first digit on my finger is about a, a, a little under a, a half pound patty. So what I do is just put my finger in there and just try to line it up just a little bit. And that should be about good right there. To keep that from moving up and down, you actually have a lock assembly. And what you just do is take that, turn it until it lines up, that drops down right there on the top, and it's locked and ready for use. Now it's not going to move up and down at all. Of course, last but not least, this is your fill tube. This holds roughly five pounds of meat, give or take, depending on the density of the part that you're working with. And of course, you just drop down the slot right here and locks into place. The piston, just kind of line it up. And when they're new, you kind of have to wear it in a couple of times. A little bit of white oil usually slides right in and out. And that's fully assembled. Same thing to clean it, you just have to take it down to the base like we did when we put it back together. Everything is, is washable, you can throw it in the sink, hand wash it. Literally takes you about five or six minutes to clean this, this entire unit. Very, very simple to clean. Okay, to load the machine, all you have to do is make sure the piston is back out of the way. You don't have to form this into the shape, it'll do all that work for you. You just really need to drop it in. Once it starts getting up a little bit closer to the top, you can see we got jalapeno and cheese mix. Just kind of, you're going to push it down in there just a little bit to make some more room. And again, it holds, depending on your product, it holds about five pounds, give or take. Put your piston in. Again, if this is not lined up square, it will not go down in there. It should go really, really easy. If you feel it, you know, tight at all, back it back out and make sure that it's level. You're going to apply a little bit of pressure. I'm not trying to kill the machine or anything like that, I'm just applying a little bit of pressure and it's, it's out of position because this is where you're going to put your patty paper in when it's in this position. It's down, it's recessed, so it just slides right in, you don't have to worry about it. So we're going to put a little bit of pressure on here and we're going to turn and apply the pressure and now you're going to pull it 20, a quarter of a turn. 
You're not taking it out yet, and I did that to the paper. It was my fault. Dropped your piece of paper in. I didn't release the pressure. I had pressure applied whenever I was turning it into the mold, and that picked the paper up, caused it to curl. So that was that was on me. Now you're going to turn it to this position, and that's going to slide right off. That's your first patty. Apply your pressure. Drop your next sheet in. Fill in the next one. 